ಸರಸೂಡಾ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಕೋರಿ ಚಾಲ ಮರುಳು ಕೊನ್ನದಿರ ಗಿರಿನಿ ವೆಲೆಯು ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ ಕರುಣಿಂಪ ಇದೇ ಸಮಯವು ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವರ್ಣಂ ಅ ವರ್ಣ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ವರ್ಣ ಯು ಸಿ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಅ
and you look at various kinds of music, you will see the musical compositions have different structures. You could have a, a simple composition such as we have in Carnatic music in, in the beginners level, what is called Geetam. Now, Geetam is um, a composition, a very simple musical composition which has a set of about 8 to 10 lines and these are just sung one after another without repetition and without any other sections of the composition. In Hindustani music, uh, if you look at a khayal composition or dhrupad, if you look at a khayal composition, it has two parts to it, what is called the sthai and the antara. The sthai will have two lines typically, the antara will have two lines. The compositions in Hindustan in khayal are particularly very short and uh, this is how a khayal composition is structured. Varnam as a compositional form um, and you will see later the other kinds of composition in Carnatic music like Kirtana or Kriti, uh, they have a different structure, compositional structure. Now Varnam as a composition uh, is, uh, is divided into two parts, we have the Purvangam or the first part and the Uttarangam, the second part. Um, the Purvangam essentially consists of some Sahitya portion or textual lyrics. Usually there are two lines of what is called the Pallavi followed by two lines of what is called the Anupallavi followed by a Swara pattern, a, swar, a set of Swaras. These Swaras are called Muktai Swara. So the first part of the Varnam, if you will notice, will have two lines of Pallavi followed by two lines of Anu Pallavi. The Pallavi lines normally are in the middle range of the octave. The Anu Pallavi goes up into the higher uh, regions, the higher octave and uh, it comes back and uh, merges into the what is called the Muktaiswaram. And after the Muktaiswaram is sung, you go back to the Pallavi, the first part of the first line of the composition. This is the Purvangam of the Varnam, the Uttarangam and the, these are sung as separate parts actually. Um, there is a clear demarcation of these two portions of the Varnam, Purvangam and Uttarangam. The Uttarangam starts with a Usually it is just a single line, a single avartana of what is called the charnam followed by three to five uh, sets of swaras and these are in increasing avartanas. Usually the first swara is of one avartana and the second and third may be of two avartanas, the fourth or if there is a fifth, we will go into four avartanas. So if you notice, uh, if you can go back and listen to the uh, varnams or if you listen to the varnams that are to follow, that is the general pattern of the um, 
of a varna that is the general structure of a varna now if you look at the lyrics the words of the varna of any varna they are very simple lyrics it's almost as if there is a i'm talking about a traditional varnas there is a, a stock set of phrases which are often found in many varnams for instance ninne kori or ninnu kori this is one uh, expression you find in many varnams marulu konna dira that is also an expression that you find in many chalamelara don't delay modi chesera don't um, make it so difficult for me the 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 mood of the uh, lyrics maybe the text text is you is usually it is shringara or romantic but almost invariably it the uh, the romance is directed at a deity in this case the varnam in saveri which it is said it was uh, the the nayaka or the hero of the piece to whom the song is addressed is lord venkateshwara um it could be otherwise in many in many varnams it is uh, the tyagesha of tiruvarur we have uh, venu gopala we can have uh, we can even have uh, kartikeya so some deity or the other is usually the nayaka or the hero of the piece and the the song is as if it's the heroine singing of her love and uh, beseeching him the deity to favor her there are um, two kinds of varnams the with what are called tana varnams and uh, there are called the pada varnams the other kind of varnam is called pada varnam now pada varnam is uh, a varnam that is uh, usually cast in some rakti raga or uh, there is sung more slowly in order to offer scope for dance so you see uh, since varnams always almost have shringara as their theme uh, it offers very good scope for abhinaya dance in bharatanatyam especially bharatanatyam as a dance form has evolved simultaneously along with carnatic music and uh, many varnams are part of the repertoire of bharatanatyam dances bharatanatyam being the south indian uh, dance form that has evolved in tamil nadu pada varnams are rendered at a more leisurely pace and uh, very often the charana swaras they have we also have sahitya they have text for the charanaswaras also so we have uh, these two kinds pada varnam and tana varnam what you hear in carnatic music concerts is mostly uh, what is called tana varnam 